Hi guys, <clears throat> Rosie here for another quick little vlog. Sorry if it's so loud, I'm sitting out front of the Middleborough house. I actually just got up, <laughs> if you can't tell. I look a hot mess, but that's okay. You guys so love me, don't you? Oh, every time. Every time I make that statement, like, oh my god, I feel like hummus, I look like hummus. The people around me, like Spot, for example, shout out Spot A. Uh, he's like, oh. And you probably look better than everyone up in Middleborough, or one of the best up in Middleborough, or something like that. He's always the see. <clears throat> I always look greatest on my worst days. <laughs> okay, so I didn't start this vlog to uh, rebel, or whatever you want to call that. I just wanted to check in with you guys because I know it's been a minute since I made my last video and um, I have actually done a little bit since then. I went to Maine for a week, um, that's why I wasn't really uh, vlogging. I should have been because there was a lot of fun experiences that you guys would have loved to see. But my phone it is just not equipped for that. I already cracked it. like. Well, the screen protector, I cracked a lot. I need to get a new one. <clears throat> but, um, so I need to invest in some GoPros, like, ASAP. <laughs> so you guys could have experienced it. I actually, we went, um, so we went up there. We went all the way up this time. The last one that, that I made was only Poland. This one was all the way in Presque Isle. So that's about eight hours up. Um, I actually drove a lot of the way. It was actually the first time I ever experienced, um, falling asleep with my eyes open <clears throat> while driving. It was a scary experience, but my sister got, was with me, uh, well, was awake with me, and she helped me get through it. Um, it was definitely the longest 15 minutes of my life, uh, the last stretch, that's for sure. Um, because we chose to leave the, at that night time, so I was so exhausted. Oh my god. But still on the way back, we left during the day, so my mom could drive a little bit, she didn't end up driving, I ended up driving all the way to Mass, <clears throat> but that's okay, it was fun. Um, we went up there for my brother's graduation, he actually graduated from high school, he got that diploma, um, it was a little different because of Corona, <clears throat> um, I thought they were actually going to cancel it all together, he didn't get to do his prom, he didn't get to do, um, his class trip because up in Maine they like go to Six Flags they, like they save up like they do a whole bunch of stuff up there it's amazing it's a great school um but he uh they did do a graduation ceremony for five families at a time so they split up the graduation that way there was only so many people in and it was all separate it was very nice it was very organized um we all you know everyone had to wear masks it was it was good they actually had all matching masks for the graduates so they were so cute um so that's why we went up there and he did it because when we went up there we could go he had a zero in english and he needed to finish gym in order to graduate so he wasn't looking like he was going to graduate so when we got up there we well try to motivate him my mom motivated him the most she was really hard on him but it got it done he brought a zero to an 84 in a matter of a week and he ended up getting that diploma. So I am such a proud big sister. I can't even tell you guys how proud I am of him. So it was really fun to go up there. He actually has like his, <clears throat> his own room with his friend. So he let me stay in his room. That was me and my sister stayed there. That was intense, but um, we got through it. I actually ended up staying at my friend's house. Shout out Acacia, I love you, miss you already. Um, for a couple of days, which I kind of wish I stayed there the whole time because I had like my own room. But I don't regret staying with my brother at all um, because I really missed him so much and I still miss him a lot. So it was a good experience. Um, <laughs> I just, it was good. Um, my cousin Bobby Jo actually graduated the next day too. I'm so proud of her. And she actually is going, deploying to the army any day now, I think the 10th. Which day is it? Tomorrow. Oh, wow. Okay. So she's deploying tomorrow. My brother's going in October to the Marines, deploying to boot camp, anyways. Um, and she actually bought a full wheeler. So when we went up there, we were full wheeling. Me and my brother would go full wheeling like 
hours. I didn't realize it was that long <laughs> when I first went up there and he took me on these trails like I was driving on them. My aunt didn't want me to, I don't know why, but I was anyways, because my brother's the shit. <laughs> and it was really fun. We ended up finding like this landscape place, a landfill place. I don't even know what to call it, but it was like to the right of the field. So we went, I'm like, come on, let's go see what this is. And it was like literally oasis like blue beautiful oasis holes with like like they dug into the ground and found these pools and like had the big sand like to the side so it did look like it could fall at any moment but we decided to climb down there anyways and this is why i need to go pro because you guys would have loved seeing this experience it was so beautiful and peaceful and just like quiet like like i'm sitting here right now there's nothing quiet about sitting here right now <laughs> if you can hear it all. Um, out there, you could drop literally a pen and you would hear it. It was so awesome. <clears throat> and that water was so beautiful. It looked like, like it was so deep. We were throwing rocks in it. Like we do not know how deep it was because, um, you know, we don't know where the rocks really ended. You could tell that it was so deep. And I was trying to go closer to the water. My brother was like freaking out on me. Oh my God, it's going to cave in. Back up. Don't go there. Back up. Back up. You're going to die. It was so much fun. Oh my God. And then we ended up finding another um, uh, little place that we went. And it was like a little drop. I was so scared. I actually got off the four wheeler and walked because I didn't know what to expect. But it was nothing. I don't know. I was scared. And it was like the water. It was, I don't know if it was a lake or river. I think it was a river. Um... It was just so pretty, like just so peaceful and beautiful. Like I needed it. I needed that recharge into nature. So I was so grateful for that. Um, and Baba Joe literally just bought that four wheeler like two days before we got up there. So it was like perfect timing, <laughs> like perfect. Um, oh yeah. And I almost forgot. And my brother actually took me night fishing. So me, him and his friend Ben, we went down and we had a hike to like this little place. So it was nighttime. We had flashlights. It was so cool. I haven't done a night hike like that. Like I wish I had my pro, my GoPro so you guys could have seen it. It was so much fun. You would have laughed because we came into contact with this creeper when we came back to get picked up. We had to wait. And there was this guy just standing at the rock. I don't know if he sleeps there or what, but it was weird. And he approached us and he's like, got any smoke? Of course I'm saying no because you're a creep and I got my little brother and his, the, you know, his friend with me. And they're both younger than me. I'm the oldest at this point. I don't look the oldest, but I am. I'm like, no. And he's like, are any drugs? I'm like, no, we're good kids. We just came from fishing. I'm like, fuck off is what I want to say. But he's like, oh, gay or whatever he said. And like, walked off back on his weird rock just standing there staring at nothing it was fucking weird oh sorry guys it was so weird <clears throat> but we made it out we had actually all three of us ended up getting on the little four wheeler that's only meant for one person <laughs> and going all the way up the road until bobby joe could come and get us like because she was on her way but we didn't want to hang out down there with that creek because it was like it was sketch like i was having bad feelings it was real sketch but it was awesome where we went to fish, rewind, there was like this huge, I think it was a catfish, because I think they jump out of the water, that jumped, like, it was so scary, I'm like, oh my god, is that a mermaid? It was awesome. Um, and then we ended up having a fire at the end of the um, trip, we did a fire. Um, Oh, I wanted to just do a little side note. I got weed from uh, the... Dis this is going to be just a video about my main trip. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I'm just rambling on and on, going from one thing to another. That's how my brain works. Uh, there was... I did end up getting weed from a dispensary out there. My friend has a medical card, and she grabbed me some... Ooh, I shouldn't say that. Ugh. Oh, well. Um, and I just wanted to put a little note that it wasn't too bad. Um, they have all different prices. Uh like different like you have bottom shelf high shelf you know different prices for that type of thing and when i opened up my container i paid 20 dollars for a 35 or no it was a three grams i think cute little jar and the top bud had a little tiny speckle of like this white that i did not recognize that i felt was mold so i took that little piece off and threw it as a way i'm not smoking that um, but I searched the rest of it and it looked okay. It didn't have any more of that white stuff. Like you could clearly tell that that was not supposed to be there. It was either mold or fentanyl is what I felt. So I'm like, get rid of that. I don't think it was fentanyl. I think it was mold because of my buddy Don, shout out Don, who taught me about mold growing on weed. So I need to be alert and research and look and, uh, you know, follow my gut instinct. And that's what I did. 
So yes, I threw a little piece away, but um, I'd rather throw it away than feel sick, you know? So I did end up smoking the rest because I didn't have anything else, but I, re I did look at it very carefully and it looked okay. Um, so that was a little weird. I'm like, I wonder if all dispensaries are like this. Ugh, question mark, you know, worried me a little bit, but hey, what can you do? Okay, so um, that's pretty much what I've been up to the last week. I'm home, I got home yesterday. Um, well, I was in Boston yesterday, or two days ago, I stayed over at mom's house yesterday. Oh my God, don't mind my glasses are literally peeling. I need new ones so bad. Um, when they get wet, they like peel that layer off. It's like water damage or whatever. And I always have them like in the bathroom and stuff when I shower. But so I just wanted to fill you guys in a little bit on my experience. Um, oh, we did fireworks. My brother actually got fireworks in Baba Joe before we left too. Uh, that was really fun and awesome. There was like the neighbors around. Um, we are actually in the Micmac community. I'm Native American. If you guys didn't know that Micmac. My family actually lives up on the base. They call it the base, and it's like where all the Micmacs kind of live together and stuff. So uh, we did it in that neighborhood, so all the kids got to come out and see. It was really, really cool. Um, I hope I didn't miss anything. I know I did like a little bit of shopping because I have stores up there that they don't have here. I got my Timmy's, Tim Hortons, because I missed that bad boy. I had so much coffee for no reason. <laughs> well, I was so tired, that's why. Um, but I just want to fill you guys in and I will do another video soon. I'm not sure on what yet, but Just know I haven't forgot about y'all. Bear with me. Love yous. Oh And don't forget like if you haven't liked it subscribe if you haven't subscribed comment if you want to comment Add me on Facebook if you'd like I Probably will not leave the descriptions down the links down there because I'm still trying to learn that stuff Bear with me and I'm hoping GoPros will come very shortly. Thank you Choose love. Bye.